Hey everybody, welcome to another haul video here on the channel. Today we're gonna go over all the recent manga that I acquired, stuff from September and early October. So let's get to it. First one here is The Giga Town, A Guide to Manga Iconography. This is published by Udon with Manga Splaining. I love the idea of this book. It is such a wonderful treat, especially if you've been reading manga for such a long time that even though I know most of, I would say like 90% of the iconography, it's still fun to have. It's like a coffee table book where you can just go back and just relearn some things and appreciate the medium, the tips and tricks tricks that the manga could use to accentuate their writing and their drawings. So this book is that while also presenting us a cute story with this little rabbit and uh, friends and family and all the other animals that are interacting in this book. But this is really cool. If you do see it and if you're a fan of the medium, I do suggest picking this up for your collection. From Kodansha, we have two releases here. The first one being Rent a Girlfriend, Volume 26. That is the date I was born. So that is really cool. I've made it to 26 volumes of Rent a Girlfriend. I don't know if I should be proud, uh, a little annoyed, or just sad and frustrated. I'm kidding, of course. If, I, if I'm if i this deep into Rent a Girlfriend, I, I enjoy it for what it is. It's some silly comedy. Don't, don't take it too seriously, folks. But yeah, Rent a Girlfriend, Volume 26. I have no idea what's happening in this volume. I need to catch up. I'm like uh, way behind. Initial D, Omnibus Volume 3. I am so excited. I keep stalling and haven't been able to bring you my thoughts in a video about Initial D, but I do plan on doing so soon. I love these two-in-ones and just the green color here, the, that neon green is so cool next to the other ones. Orange, blue, I love it. Can't wait for more Initial D goodness. I mean, look at how cool, clean and smooth these racing scenes are. It's a legendary car series for a reason right? From Square Enix, just one title this time, we got Smoking Behind the Supermarket With You, Volume 3. I like this series a lot. I made a point in my video where I talked, I think it was Volume 1, where most of this series, it's just rinse and repeat with the dynamic of the characters and occasionally present a new twist to their dilemma or to their weird and wacky relationship. And this volume kind of does that a little bit more. From One Piece Books, I picked up Tales of the Tendo Family. Here we have Volume 3. Looking really nice. I need to reread some things about Volume 2 because it's been a minute to sort of catch up and fully enjoy uh, the next batch of chapters here. The next book that we're going to talk about here is A Cat from Our World and the Forgotten Witch, Volume 3. This is a fantastic fantasy series and a cat manga as well. We're only two volumes away from wrapping up this one, so it's really cool that we get a nice concise story in just five volumes. Pretty excited to get there. Also from Seven Seas, Sword of the Demon Hunter, Volume 5. I kind of miss the prestige of when the first couple of volumes were coming out with the textured feel of the manga. Maybe that's just me, but this is an awesome action series that I do recommend. And lastly, we have The 100 Girlfriends Who Really, 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 Really Love You, Volume 11. I'm a couple volumes behind, but I really enjoyed this one, no pun intended. Can't wait to read this volume and keep the hijinks going with this series. These volumes, by the way, are pretty chunky. That is awesome. This is a very text-heavy rom-com harem series. From Yen Press, we have a bunch of books here, including This Monster Wants to Eat Me, Volume 2. I talked about Volume 1 recently. This is a really fun twist on not just a GL series, but also monsters and creatures and has that horror feel running throughout, which is perfect for an October read. God Bless the Mistaken, Volume 3. This is very slice of life oriented as they examine all these glitches that are happening in the real world and the possible origin of them. Fortunately, we only have one more book to go and we'll have the entirety of this little series here, God Bless the Mistaken. 
And I finally got this. I was super late in grabbing it. Uh, when I ended up buying it, it went out of stock. So I had to wait a really long time for it to come back in. And it finally did. Of course, typically things are shipped media mail. So that means I got to wait even more. But it's here. Hachioji Specialty Tengu's Love. This is a great combination of yokai manga with romantic comedy elements. I love me a shoujo like this. That is so cool. Love the art. Super underrated in my opinion. Visually, I think this is one of my favorite releases of the year. Kowloon Generic Romance Volume 8. There are rumors that we're getting an anime adaptation of this, and I do hope it happens because I do think this is the right balance of romance in a stylized era with the Kowloon city, and I hope, fingers crossed, it goes for a uh, synth-wavy kind of vibe with its music score. That would be amazing. Sister and Giant Volume 2. I really enjoyed Volume 1. It's a nice dynamic of having a regular sized human, although she is considered a giant, next to her sister, who is an exiled elf giant, and they are going off on these adventures with a lot of dark fantasy elements that really surprised me. From Viz Media, we have Frieden, Volume 11. Now that the anime ended and everybody's super hyped about this series, I'm so excited to read past where the anime concluded with its first season and continue that adventure before season two shows up. So then I can compare uh, both mediums and see how well they do uh, the adaptation. But really excited again to pick this one up. One of my favorite series, Call of the Night. Here we have volume 17. So we are now three volumes away from completing this one. Super happy and excited to get there. Love the art on these volumes. Kotoyama, I mean, I, I praise the author every time I get a new book. I really like the art. I love his character styles and sort of the ambiance that he brings. It has the right vibes. I don't know, it's super stylized and I dig it. Dark Gathering Volume 9, and if memory serves me right, this is the first volume where we have new material for all of us that watched the anime. I saw the anime first and then went back and started picking up the individual volumes, so this is really exciting. I can't wait to continue the story because the show ended in a bit of a cliffhanger. Let's go a little way back with some quote unquote older releases. Here we have Banana Fish Volume 2. I showed Volume 1 not too long ago and I mentioned that this is a series that I've always wanted to collect, but due to limited space and all that, I, I didn't start doing it, but I figured, you know, let's just get it out of the way. If anything, I can just store it in a closet until I have room to fully display it. Next to it, Snow White with the Red Hair. Similar to other titles, this one I watched the anime first and really enjoyed it, so I thought I would own and consume the original source material instead. And here we are with volume two. Super happy to have this in my collection. And finally, we finish off this haul with ZOM 100, volume 13. I put a break on getting ZOM volumes, but I believe this was discounted somewhere online and I saw it for a good price and snatched it up. I'm still missing 14 and 15 and eventually 16 when that comes out, but we'll get to that. There's no rush. Still, I love the neon green. Actually, today's haul video is heavily focused on the color green with initial D and all that stuff. So that is awesome. The neon color color palette is my preferred color palette for things, so I'm right at home when uh, graphic artists design stuff like this. Oh, and yeah, the stuff inside is great. Great zombie action, a lot of fun, all that good stuff. <laughs> Not a whole lot of anime, but we got two controversial picks here. The first one is Monster Musume, the re-release, the complete collection here on Blu-ray. Now, I know you're probably raising your eyebrow, I, I get it, and I have come to the conclusion after collecting things like interspecies reviewers that I just find it fun, the whole idea of Monster Girls, and when you're able to do silly comedies like this, why the heck not? I don't know, I have no shame in me, so here I am talking about Monster Musume on this episode, so let's go. Obviously I don't need to mention how not safe for work it is, so uh, yeah, <laughs> 18 and up please. But it, it's it's silly, it's fun, it's kind of goofy, and I actually got this uh, as part of a birthday haul, so yeah, there you go. <laughs> 
Next to it is a controversial release that from a admirer of animation as a medium, I think this is one of those uh, big releases. The craftsmanship, the art involved in making Kite is amazing. Unfortunately, this is such a hyper violent and sexualized story that it can cause controversy with certain people. A lot of individuals online like to say this is a hentai when it is not. This is an action film first. It's a film first, I should say, which happens to have sex content in it, but it is not a pornographic material like you would expect with hentai, if that makes sense. But I completely understand people that might think this is a little bit too much. I totally get it, but I can objectively look at things like this is art. You can admire, like I said, the craftsmanship involved in making something like this. The the people involved here, the uh, director and storyboard artists and, and the artists involved in making it are extremely talented. And that should not be uh, hidden away simply because people on the internet just say, oh, Discotech is releasing hentai now, which is completely stupid. I hate that. This is not it. <laughs> this is just a really uh, bloody film that just happens to go places. All right, folks, there we go. A quick manga haul for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. If you want me to review any of the books highlighted in this haul video, let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you everybody for liking, commenting, subscribing, and being a part of the channel. I truly do appreciate it. As always, let me remind you that I do have a Discord server that is very wholesome, nice, filled with amazing people. And if you want to be a part of that community, the link is in the description below. I would appreciate it. And that's it. Uh, that's going to be it for now. Thank you, everybody. God bless. Stay safe out there. I will catch all of you on the next one.